Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video I want to talk about this transition that is happening from Power Virtual Agents to Microsoft Copilot Studio. And this was one of the biggest announcements that was made in Microsoft Ignite as well. So in this video I want to break this down into a few pieces and today focus on this transition that we are going to see, especially the immediate transitions both as a chatbot maker and the end user. And this is not just important from the chatbot making from Power Virtual Agent standpoint, it's also important from the Microsoft 365 standpoint. That is why this video is very important and you don't want to miss it. But first, here's my intro video. So first, I want to talk about the whole concept of Microsoft Copilot and the Copilot experiences across the entire ecosystem, not just the Microsoft 365, but the entire Microsoft ecosystem. And I like how it's put over here specifically in this slide that the Microsoft Copilot empowers every end user, not just the makers, the developers, it also goes and empowers the end user. But there's more of this because there's actually different flavors of Copilot. And I love this slide as well because it's actually showing uh, which Copilots are there for the Dynamics 365, for the Microsoft 365. There's a whole separate Copilot for Windows, uh, Power Platform, Copilot for Security, and also GitHub. These are the different ones that we are aware of right now. And building of the Copilot also is a full end-to-end -end SaaS or software as a service type of a solution. And you can see over here, anywhere from building the chatbot using the generative AI, all the way up to the conversational services, it truly is a single pane of glass. So Microsoft 365 Copilot does leverage the Copilot Studio. And so let's spend a few minutes looking at what this Copilot Studio is all about. This is the overlook and feel of what the Copilot Studio is. It's where you go ahead and build your own Copilot, right down to going and connecting it to the platform. But you know what? This looks very familiar because the building of your own Copilot directly looks a lot like what we had the bot life cycle. And remember, even the bot life cycle has the end-to-end -end SaaS as a single pane of glass. This is actually a slide that I have taken back when we, I used to do power virtual agents in the day. This is it. So if you see, the look and the feel is exactly the same. And that's the important thing that I want you to know is that the entire generation of the Copilot Studio comes from Power Virtual Agent Studio. And if you see the life cycle, it's very, very important. In addition, while this is one of my favorite slides to show you all the different versions or iterations of Copilot Studio, this slide shows where Copilot and all the Copilot Studio falls under for all of those different versions of Copilot. So the Copilot for Microsoft 365, it actually falls under the conversational experiences for Microsoft 365. Then there is already three different ones for Dynamics and Power Platform that includes sales, includes services, and the Copilot for Power Apps that we use. And they've also left some space for any of the future ones that are gonna come in. And for other Microsoft Copilots, well, those are the three that is added over there and also the flexibility to go ahead and do more custom Copilots, which I'll cover in just a section. So this is basically the entire Microsoft Copilot Studio. It is placed to extend and customize the first party Copilots built on custom Copilots. Really love this slide. So now that we understood Copilots and its deep integration with the Copilot Studio, I wanna actually spend the remaining part of this video looking at the Copilot Studio. Because like I said, this looks a lot like and it's built on top of the Power Virtual Agent Studio. It comes with so much more now. And yes, you still have the existing chatbot flexibility, which I'll show you in just a minute. So in the Copilot Studio, this is where you can go and build your own Copilot, extend it to the Microsoft Copilot Studio, and you can connect it to other platforms, including things such as Azure AI Stack, right up to the Azure Bot Framework. All of these connected platforms still apply. While some of them already did, these also apply to the Microsoft Copilot Studio. So when I first went into my Power Virtual Agents after this announcement was made, I got this one pop-up message. And it directly tells you that Power Virtual Agents is now Microsoft Copilot Studio. And you will also see this. I'm only seeing this once. When I saw it, I immediately took a screenshot of it to show it to you. So you will actually see something like this. Don't freak out, you're not losing anything, or every all of existing chatbots will still there, but the overall concept has changed. This is now called as the Copilot Studio. So simply go and click on done, and now let me show you firsthand what that change looks like. So as of right now, if you go to your Power Apps and your Power Automate, on the bottom left, you will see Power Platform. When you click on it, again, as of right now, I still see Power Virtual Agents. 
but when I click on it, a new tab opens up and right on the top, the header of the tab says Microsoft Copilot Studio. And if this is the first time that you're opening it, then you will get that pop-up message that I showed you that Power Virtual Agents is transitioning over to Copilot Studio. You will also get that message. But when I come in, this is what I see. Now, this is what it used to look like before. And I've actually taken an image of a video that I did not too long ago. This is what it looked like before. And if, especially if you see that left vertical navigation, things looked a little different. And you also had the Power Virtual Agents written on it. But the overall look, feel, colors, branding, almost is the exact same. So when I saw Copilot Studio, I didn't kind of freak out. I said, hey, this looks a little familiar. So at least the adoption and the transition was a little bit easier on that. Now granted, this is all happening in preview. So on the left side, now you see the home, but you see all of these three different pl uh, previews available. There's the plugins, there is the prompts, and then there is the model preview. Now I'll go through each of those in detail in the next set of videos, but at least over here, I wanna show you the important ones. So now this is called as Copilots and all of these are called Copilots and when you're clicking on plus new, that's a like new Copilot. Again, remember before it was the new chatbots. So when I go and click on this Copilot, it gets me to the overall section of this specific Copilot. The look and the feel is very similar. So again, I'm not getting alarmed by a completely new user interface. I am already familiar with this, so that's a good thing. But now on the left side, there are a few other things that really caught my attention. Um, there was the generative AI, and then the extended Microsoft Copilot preview. Those two really caught my attention because everything else I'm already familiar with, and I'm happy for that. I did not lose my topics. My topics are still there. All my entities are there. So the adoption and more importantly, the transition from the Power Virtual Agents to the Copilot seems very seamless. And so my adoption of it will be very easy. But I'm also excited, cautiously, about these new features that are directly available to you. Now, we'll go more of these in detail in the future videos, but at least I wanted to show you a few of these things, specifically the Extend Microsoft Copilot Preview. So when I click on it, a dropdown comes in. And now we have two options, conversational plugins and AI plugins. Now I'll do some more detailed videos on this, but I at least have to tell you that plugins is the place where you can go ahead and extend your Microsoft Copilot Studio. So when you've got sections directly in say Microsoft Teams and in Microsoft Teams, your N365 Copilot is having a conversation with you about a specific topic and it comes to a point where it cannot answer that. Well, in that case, we can go ahead and open up Copilot Studio, go ahead and fix any of those gaps and it directly goes ahead and plugs into that Teams conversation. Hence the concept of plugins. Plugins is goes ahead and fills any of those gaps that N365 Copilot may actually have. Make sense? Good. So we'll cover more of that in detail, but at least this is what I wanted to show you. And right over here in the conversational plugin, when you go and click on it, it gives you the overall same effect as if you are going and building a chatbot in a specific topic. Same look and feel, same effect, and it also has all the flexibilities to go and add all of these other nodes. So the adoption of it is going to be a lot more easier, a lot more seamless, because it still uses all of those heavy things that we learned. You and I spend time learning in Power Virtual Agents, all of that is still there, so all of that knowledge still applies over here. None of that has been wasted, but it helps you to take it to the next level. So the Copilot for Microsoft 365 is currently under public preview. This announcement came on the day of Ignite and the extending for Microsoft Copilot using the exact Copilot Studio that I just showed you is also available in preview. So you can take it and start playing it to use the extension of the Copilot directly in the Microsoft 365 space. You can use the Copilot Studio where you go ahead and build all your extended plugins. And then as the name suggests, plug that into places where you might find a gap in the Microsoft Copilot Studio. And there's all of these other learning content that is available for you to get started today. And I'll be covering all of these in detail because now we've got the entire Copilot Studio that it goes above and beyond Power Virtual Agents, but also show you how you can go and start building your plugins in different gaps that you might see in the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So like I mentioned in the introduction, the whole reason for this video is to start talking about the transition that is happening from Power Virtual Agents to the Microsoft Copilot Studio. And the good thing about you and me is that we are not gonna lose any of the knowledge or the work that we've put in to gain that knowledge. In fact, now we can build on top of that with a lot of emphasis in the Copilot Studio extension ability across the entire Microsoft 365 Copilot. That's the one thing that is really getting me excited. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Microsoft Copilot Studio. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, 
go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.